Hey everyone, welcome back to another brand new video. And AI just never stops evolving. We just got a brand new and open source AI image editing and generation model. And by seeing the example images, I think it might even beat Google's Nano Banana. Yup. A group of researchers, along with ByteDance, has just now released Dream Omni 2 which is a multimodal, instruction-based image editing and generation model. In common language, it means you can give this AI model some reference images and text prompts as input, and then it will give you your desired output. And this actually looks absolutely stunning. It can pull off some crazy edits that are pretty insane to see. It can do tons of different things like object replacements, lighting render, style transfers, pose imitation, face expressions, hairstyles, font imitations, and many more. They are claiming that Dream Omni 2 achieves the best results among open source models, showing superior identity and pose consistency. Additionally, Dream Omni 2 can reference abstract attributes such as material, texture, makeup, hairstyle, posture, design style, artistic style, etc., even surpassing commercial models in this area. So, Today I will be telling you everything about it, and how you can use it too. We will see how it compares with all the other AI image editing models, and I will be also testing this model myself too, and see whether it's really worth using or not. But before that, let's look at some examples that they have shared, and see how this model performs. First we are going to look at some object replacements that this new Dream Omni 2 model can pull off. On the left side, you will see the images that were used for the generation. The first image is a lamp, and the second image is a dog. The prompt given was, replace the lantern in first image with the dog in the second image. And this is what this Dream Omni 2 model generated. Now that's pretty amazing, it retained the background very nicely. This is another example. Here is an image of a man standing with a text on it. And here is another image of a girl. The prompt was, replace the man with the girl. And just look at this. It completely retained the background and the text while replacing the man with the girl. Very well done, I would say. Let's look at some lighting render examples. So this is the first image of a cat. And this is the second image of a girl in a beautiful lighting. The prompt was, make the first image has the same light condition as the second image. And this is what it generated. It looks awesome. Now we have some style transfers example right here too. The first image is a realistic looking image of hens, and the second image is a pixel style image of a crow. The prompt given was, replace the first image have the same image style as second image. And this was what it generated. It matched the style perfectly. It even works for various other different styles too. You can give an image of yourself and then an image of an anime styled image of a character that you like, and it will convert it into that too. Really beautiful. Pose imitation is also amazing with this new model too. As you can see, this is the image of a man, and this is an image of a character. The prompt given was, make the person from the first image have the same pose as the person from the second image. And it did it pretty nicely. It can even do face expression too. And it can even edit the hairstyles too, based upon your prompts and the reference image. They also showcased font imitation too. You can see the word December here in this image. And the other image has some other words, but the fonts and style of the writing is different. If you give the prompt, make the words in first image have the same font as the words in the second image, then you will get something like this. It copied the font exactly. Pretty awesome. Another thing which they showcased here is pattern imitation. This is another crazy thing. In the first image we have a car, and in the second image we have a mouse with these fireworks pattern. And look what the edited image is. You just have to give the prompt. Make the car in the first image have the same pattern as mouse in the second image, and it will do that marvelously. You can even replace backgrounds of a specific image with it too. We also have examples of some in context generations too here. You can see in the first image we have a girl character, and in the second image we have this item. The prompt given was, the character from first image is holding the item in second image, and it did it perfectly. And if you thought that two reference images was the maximum you can go, then you are wrong. You can do three picture generations too. You can see in this example, we have the first image of a bird, and then we have second image of a cap, and then we have a third image of this spaceship. The prompt which was given was, 
The parrot from image 1 is wearing the hat from image 2 and standing on the ground with a forest in background. The color tone of the image is same as image 3. And just look at the image. It followed all the instruction very nicely. This is insane. Here is another interesting example that they have shared. The first image is of a girl, and the second image is of a man. The third image is of two stick figures fighting. The prompt which was given to the model was, On the fighting stage, two people are engaged in combat. Their movement are shown in figure three. And, oh my god, this is actually amazing. This is pretty interesting, not gonna lie. And let me tell you another crazy thing. You can even go till four reference images too. Yup. This is an example of a four reference image generation. We got the image of a girl as the first image. The second image is of a man. The third image is of a dog. And the fourth image is of a scenery. The prompt which was written was, the woman of image one and the man from image two are standing in front of a mountain. The dog from image three is standing between them. The style of the image is same as style four. And just look at it. It is absolutely perfect. This is very amazing, not gonna lie. These were all the examples of what this Dream Omni 2 model can do. They have even shared comparison with various top AI image editing models. On the left side, you can see the two input images that was given to each of these models. The prompt Gav was, make the person from the first image has the same pose as person from the second image. And this is what the Dream Omni 2 model generated. It followed everything perfectly. And this is what the Flux Context model generated. It didn't follow anything at all. The Keywen Edit model generated this. And this also didn't follow anything at all. The GPT-40 just made the girl jump, but not in the same position as the second image. Nano Banana didn't do anything. It just added a third leg for some reason. And OmniGen 2 did this. It didn't follow our instruction at all, too. So you can see that out of all these generations, only Dream Omni 2 followed the reference image and our prompt perfectly. Pretty crazy, I would say. Similarly, you can see more comparisons here. In every comparison, Dream Omni 2 just defeats everything. Now this was all the examples and comparisons that they have shared. But now it's time to check this model ourselves and see whether it's really worth using or not. So, to use this Dream Omni 2 model, you will first need to come to their GitHub page. I will link it down in my description. It's fully open source. The code and model are all here. So if you want to use this model, then you can download it and run it locally to start using it for free. They have given all the instructions on how to run this model locally. The main model is only about 5 gigs, with a LoRa of 1.5 gigs. So it means it should run easily run on a graphics card with 8 gigs of VRAM. That's an awesome news, so you can use it from here if you want. Dream Omni 2 has also released Hugging Face demos too, so you can use it there too and test it out. Just simply click on here and you will come to this page. This is where you can use test the new Dream Omni 2 model. Make sure to create a Hugging Face account too. It will give you more free quota to use the model. Now to test it, we will put the image of this character in image 1, and then in the image 2, I will be putting an image of a book with my channel logo on it. I want to make the character in image 1 hold this book in image 2, so I will just go and write the prompt for it here. Once that is done, I will simply hit the run button, and our image will start getting generated. Now, let's wait and see what we will get. So, we finally got our image, and uh, it's pretty good. Uh, there are no errors. The character is now holding our book. There are no errors in the fingers, too. So, that's actually great. I tested it some more, and it works very nicely. Although I won't lie, there were some errors sometimes when I was generating images. You can get many weird images during generations. It gets confused a lot. I don't feel that it's better than Google's Nano Banana, though. But for an open source model, it's amazing. So, yeah, this is actually a pretty great open source AI model for image editing and generation. That is what my review of this model is. What do you think about this model? Tell me in the comments. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, then make sure to hit the like and subscribe button for more awesome AI news. I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.